Hi guys. So I had this very distinct feeling the other day. It's almost as if I heard a voice say, it's not over. It's not over. I, you know, like sometimes when you're praying, you get a certain feeling, a sense of like, which direction you should go, what you're praying for, that kind of thing. And I remember having those words just came into mind, you know, it is not over. And I remember I was feeling kind of heavy that particular day as I was praying and I thought in my head, okay, um, it's not over. I want to imagine that that is a message of hope. It is like the Spirit telling us, don't throw in the towel. Don't give up just yet. Something is still to come, yeah? And um, it gave me some comfort because when you feel like you've done everything there is to do and then you hear comforting message of that sort I would say that it it causes inspiration yeah so guys so what I'm trying to say is you 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 have to keep dreaming don't give up on your dream don't just feel as if because it's hard you have to quit and that's the end of it actually failing is what you should expect to come across Failure is the norm. If you don't fail, it's because you haven't tried anything. Yeah? So, I got to thinking, how many of my aspirations, my dreams, have I given up on? Yeah? There are so many things that I wanted to do that I still can do. Nobody said it can't happen, except myself, actually. Yeah? So, let's not quit on ourselves. Don't believe the lie that you can't do anything and because something is difficult, it must end. You know, that's just not it. That's It's not the truth. That is a lie that we are made to believe. So guys, someone will say to me, um, Rosalyn, you're just talking. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know that my business closed down and I, I, I have nowhere to, to turn to. I have no way of getting income. Actually, the truth of the matter is I do know because I lost mine too. I actually lost mine as a result of the pandemic and all of that stuff. I had to shut down and I'm dealing with the same thing. So what I want to tell you is that it's tempting. You will feel like you want to quit. And sometimes I will ask myself, will things ever go back to normal? Is this the new way of life? Am I just going to be forever struggling from now on? Um, can I really get up and struggle? And can I go through this another day? I sometimes find it hard to get up. That's just the fact. And go through and wonder, which venture am I going to start now? Is it going to work? Where's the money to invest? and do a trial and error again is it even there in this present circumstance there's you're you're measuring what you have you don't have money to gamble and and take chances with but even with all of that we simply cannot quit we can't quit on our dreams you can't just give up on life and say um that's it i'm just going to stay um I'll, I'll do whatever little thing comes my way and those dreams and aspirations I used to have that's the end of that I'm, I'm just going to try and just stay alive no we actually have to push for what makes your heart skip you must strive to get that thing that makes you excited to wake up it is still there we have to speak life over our situations Whatever that dream was, speak life over it even if you can't see it, even if it looks dead now. 
it's your words that will resurrect it don't allow the current situation because the dream looks dead you just accept it and say okay this one is over no speak life over them speak life over yourself over your family over your children over your situation your business your finances speak life it's easy to get down and every once in a while you'll find okay you said something negative cancel it as soon as you remember and speak life speak positive it even just makes you generally feel better you know it's it when you keep speaking negative you simply just bring yourself down so speak life and believe it convince yourself that as long as you're alive it is possible to bring back your dreams to life so it is not over you guys it is not over many of us are doing this youtube we started recently when you look at it if you look at how people are doing you get discouraged you ask yourself really is this am i doing anything is anybody even interested in what i'm putting out but because there's a reason why you started you must do it even if you're going to help one person and you know that is why you began this thing you'll do it for that one person and you'll do it well as excellently as you possibly can and they will get helped and you will get the satisfaction from it and you're living your dream don't just don't just quit we're not going to quit it is not over it is not over anything that you want to start you must believe that it is possible with god's help it is possible and you're going to do it yes it's better you start and it doesn't work out and it is very rare that when you start something even if it is just the life lesson that you will get from it you still got something it is not as if you didn't start it so write your goals let's keep writing our goals keep finding things to give you that push reasons to make you get up and have enthusiasm for another day yes make it and then let's always remember that if not somebody else who's going to do it for you you must do this thing for yourself you have to give you you can get help but the inspiration must be your own you have to have the inspiration as you the person chasing after this dream and then whoever else is going to come in to boost you if necessary they're taking they're picking up from your own enthusiasm you can't expect a third party to come and be the one pushing you and giving you more you know drive for your for your own dream it, it's nobody is saying it's easy it is very very difficult believe me i know i know when you can't pay rent you don't know where the next meal is coming from you have kids to kids are back in school you're probably wondering how you're going to pay this rent people might even mock you let them talk the naysayers will keep talking ignore them and move on however painful it is take your pain if you must go home and cry in the night tomorrow get up and go on get up and face another day because they're only talking for a while and when your star shines God is going to make sure it shines in their faces but if you just quit because you're scared of what people are saying, you never gave yourself a chance, you never gave God a chance, you never gave that dream that was put in your heart a chance. And so, I am just here to tell you, even when you're doubting yourself, it's not over. You have to keep trying, you have to keep striving for the sake of your family, for the sake of yourself, for the sake of your children, if you have any, for the sake of your siblings, for the sake of your God. So guys, let's just set our minds and believe and, and just have that stubborn faith that it's not over. We're not quitting. It's not an option. The, the tough times will go. They're here to pass. They're not here to stay. They're passing. We must believe that. We must convince ourselves they are on their way. They are passing by and everyone goes through them. This is not something that's specific to me, to you. Everybody goes through these hard times and how you respond to them and how you're able to recover from them because you, you can't escape, you can't run away from them. So you, you will go through them. You can cry every day, you can do what you need to do, but they will eventually pass and they will leave you way stronger. Yeah. So you must believe that you, you me, each of us is the one to make our dreams happen. We are not pretty, it's going to come true. Because we each have greatness within us. So as long as we stick to our dream, we are going to make our families and ourselves proud and we are going to be able to do this. 
So that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Just know it is not over. You have to know that with the help of God, many times we don't see how it's going to happen. And we don't need to. As long as you put your faith in God, that's all that matters. So we are going to make it. Let's believe that we are. And it is simply not over, guys. It's just not over. Believe that. You guys have a great evening.